You, you, you got him, bro. You got him. Oh my god. We'll drop him down like 15 feet this way. Go, nice. go. Nice, nice. Nice. You got him. Aubrey's going to be up next. Blaine and Cole, boat number 157. And they've got. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we've got an exciting one for you a tournament on Lake Texoma with THSBA, the Texas High School Bass Association. It's a ton of fun. We're going out with Blaine and Cole today. I'm just captaining the boat, the hot tamale, okay? These guys are doing all the fishing, and keep in mind, they're actually semi-newer anglers, all right, comparatively probably to a lot of the teams out here on the lake. You'll see we need to sharpen the skills in a few areas, but all in all, a phenomenal day out here for the first tournament. Threw out a lot of tips in today's video. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Some stuff that really caters to those newer fishermen out there. You'll notice there's a slight lack of context as to when we're making some spot moves and whatnot in today's episode episode and we're gonna get a little bit better at that but I wanted to just focus on the fishing and getting these guys on some good spots there was so many boats out on the water uh, I heard numbers from like 180 boats to like 243 boats or something like that uh, I don't know if we were in direct competition or if it was different divisions but uh, we we uh, we did well okay that's all I'm gonna say you'll notice I was up on the front of the boat for a lot of the day because I was gonna use our Garmin remote for our trolling motor and I was just gonna kick back and I was just gonna roam the bank and let them do their thing since they hadn't used a trolling motor before but they started to dial in the trolling motor later in the day what happened with my remote is it uh, it broke on us only two years in so we're getting a replacement from Garmin and so uh, yeah you'll find me working the trolling motor a lot today which put us at a slight disadvantage but it is what it is anyways we're gonna take y'all straight to the morning of its lines and on Lake Texoma the first tournament in the high school bass fishing series get ready for the next ones to drop subscribe we'll see y'all on the water So look at these, these are all fish. Okay, look at this. As it gets shallower, Jeez. those are all fish. Okay, they're four. Oh, so like yeah. that right yep. there. Now I'm gonna start turning the motor so there's more fish. This is just probably not fast, but okay. we're about to be able to cast. So y'all can grab the grab your starting bait, your crank bait probably. There's a bigger fish, dang. Just kind of as close to the rocks as you can and we'll just kind of inch our way forwards. 6.45 a.m., lines in, boys. First cast, let's go. Yep, rod tip down, cranky cranky. It's right there, dude, he came off. That was a fish, right? Oh, yeah. Son, yeah. get that thing back in there. You got that crank working, boy? Yes. That's a good sign. All right, if you didn't get one on there, um, Blaine, I just go back to this. I just, I saw one there. So that's when we gotta like piece them apart little by little, but otherwise just get these cranks along the rocks. So on this rod right here, check this out. The hook kind of goes underneath. Oh, okay. Little slot. All right. I'm gonna turn this boat around, okay? We're gonna hit that this whole point again. We gotta cover this. There's fish here. We okay. see some action, so so y'all might be casting off of this side now. Okay. It's like 16 feet here, so these crankbaits should be going pretty low, like down to the bottom. They're like 10 to 15 foot divers, and straight on ahead over there. It don't matter too much. Oh, yeah, oh no. I don't know what's going oh, on. We're gonna have to tighten up them settings. Alright. Cause I'm trying to get a colds or pain. It's not working. Cause I'm just trying oh, to get shit. it up. Okay, so I'm trying to okay. fall a little fast and tighten that up. I'm not getting much distance. You're just gonna have to fling it with a little bit more authority. You're gonna have to. <laughs> All right, hit some over. Hit some over here. We're gonna continue working this way. Straight ahead. Got to hustle. Got to hustle. They're going deep. They're gonna get close. Not too far. Oh no, that reel. Oh no. This is. Oh no. I don't know why it's doing it. It's all good. And straight reeling. Yep. And rod tip like at 45 degree, and like so not so not straight on, which I don't think you were. But then you'll always feel that rod like that da, 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 the bouncing you'll be able to feel if you're hitting rock at the bottom and stuff i got you here um start throwing anything my jerk a couple of birds nests to start the morning that's all right though 655 we're 10 minutes in this thing we've had two bites on y'all's next two casts get closer to the bank this time okay, okay. kind of stagger them a little bit but like try and get as close to the rock as possible working on out eight feet so it's getting shallower we're just going to basically kind of fish around that dock and we're going to go back to that point up as far as you can cole uh, i'm gonna bump us up y'all get a few casts around this dock you're good that's perfect i right, get you a couple more oh fix your treble hooks Sometimes you gotta play the move. Yeah, this rock looks good, more like chunky, like bigger rock. We'll, we'll, come, we'll keep going just a little further and then we'll go back out and keep it close okay. to the water. Yeah, you wanna be feeling that da -da 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 at all times. Instead of doing that, just uh, keep yeah. it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess, no. Okay. Are you able to reel it right now? Oh, you got him, you, you, you got him, bro. Come on. <laughs> That's a little thing, though. Yeah, That's yeah. a little thing. Send it up there, send it up there, Cole. Send it up there. Just, let's just get him in here. Open up the spool. Open up the spool. So that's definitely 14. So we're gonna toss on that live well. Dope, bro. First one of the morning. Come on. Go get up here on the front now. Send them over that way. All right. That those rocks are looking good. Get that thing off there. Don't lose that fish. We found him, boys. 
I'm gonna hit spot lock on the motor so like the boat might shift a little bit, but it's gonna keep us like in the same area. All around here, dude, they could be anywhere right now. I'm helping with this. That's what I'm talking about, son. Drop them in there. Yo. We'll start off to the right, and then we're gonna end up working our way to the left, okay? So before I get too much closer to that rock, I'm gonna make sure y'all like hit it a few times pretty good, okay? And even if y'all end up like casting over each other, it's not too big of a deal because you're working them back pretty quick. I'm gonna bump us to the left and now y'all are both gonna be casting off the right side of the boat. I just wanted to kind of hit that straight on real quick. All right, so send these things as close to the to the bank as you can. My first time using a gear rod. That's perfect for crankbaits, that reaction rod. Is, yeah, like that one's definitely got like a softer tip. That's me. Oh, probably. Don't get too caught up. But hey, don't get too caught up. Just <laughs> trust me. Yeah, let's do that. I'm down. Get them vests on. Strap these in. Mm-hmm. Wait for that last one. Try and put that bait caster a little further up. Okay. That way you kind of get over the handles. That's the that's the goal. All right. First move of the morning. This is going to be so much better. This crankbait's going to be flying. <laughs> It's all you on the motor for a second. I'm gonna tie something else onto this reel, okay? This other boat might start coming this way, so just don't get extremely close to the rock, right? So go heel side a little bit, tap that baby. Yeah, now you can stay on the button as you turn toe side a little bit right now. Uh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Like that way it's just like constant power and it stays smooth. You'll get used to it. I'm gonna tie something else on this reel. Turn it to the right a little bit, work us up a little bit. Yep, perfect. Now probably stay on it just a little bit. That way you can hit some new spots, right? Like some of those new rocks. Bump it to the right, maybe just a little bit. Yep, that's it. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Straighten it out to the left a little bit. Go heel side, stay on it. Yep, now we're working the bank. All right, now fish it. Mmm, I see. Let me get that, because if there's any rocks over there, I'll try and bust a maneuver really quickly. With these big rocks, it gets a little sketchy. Bam. Where you at? Now watch yourself, I gotta back us off of here pretty quick or we're gonna hit these rocks. Send one straight down parallel. Ooh, that's pretty tight. Uh, yeah, yeah, that could have been bad. If you got it, if you oh. quit lying. Oh, son. Quit lying. Oh, son. Trebles <laughs> 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 to the face. Oh my gosh. You said that was a fish. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn it. Let's uh, let's continue doing the same thing. One person casting straight. One person casting to the right a little bit. Okay. All right. Now you can send that thing a quarter mile. So you just kind of send it pretty much straight. Cause like right right ahead of us, I mean we're only at five feet right now. You see it? It was just right here. Was it? Hey, keep sending your crankbait towards the edge of these. Go ahead and then one uh, send it to the end of the tires right now, Cole. And then leave the spool open for a second. I'm looking for you, Cole. I'm trying to see if I can identify some targets on the bottom. Hey, check that out. There we go. That's fish. Okay, see there's some fish yeah. down there on the bottom along the rope of these tires. Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Big in here. Mm-hmm. We'll drop one down like 15 feet this way. Not very far. Yep, perfect. Leave that open. Leave it open. See it falling? Yep. See it falling? Oh, it's yeah, right on them. Okay. Get ready. Just let it go all the way to the bottom. They'll chase it down to the bottom and inspect it. Okay, now close it. You're on the bottom. Now just keep it tight. Just kind of like keep it tight. You can, you can wiggle it a little bit. Oh, go, go, go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. You got it. Is that a fish or the bottom? Is it a fish or the bottom? Is it a fish? Is it, is it head shaking? Yeah, yes or no? Nice! There we go, boy. Oh, God. Get him in here. <laughs> Get him in here, then. You better flip him in the boat or you're going to lose him. <laughs> There's a few down there, so we got more to get. <laughs> That's a good one. Here, hold on. Let me get a picture real quick. Let me get a picture. Get in there. Get in there. We gotta get that thing back down there. We gotta get that thing back down there. Thank you. Here, you're gonna catch one too. Y'all are both gonna catch a few here. There's so much, yeah. You got lucky it wasn't a crappie to be honest, but that worm was pretty big. That's why you got the bass. You can angle the motor, but we're chilling here. This is perfect. Yep. Yeah, there's also a wire, okay? Like that, that thing that's at an angle, that's a wire. So you, you like these fish could also get us caught in that. Yeah. The good news is there's bass right here. Okay, so check it out. He took you by that wire. Yeah. Feel that, feel that. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we gotta retie it. So give me some uh, line. Where you at, Lane? I thought you were contributing. Nice work, bro. Try and come in here and take our tires. You see that? They're probably laughing.
off because I was going to net it, but then you like lifted it up out of the water. <laughs> They're probably like, what are these guys doing? So hey, if you if you get the next one, don't lift it out of the water because there's a good chance we'll lose it. If you don't like flip it up in here quick, so I'm going to net it, okay? That way we just don't take chances because that could have been bad. Like you held it off the side of the boat for a while, it could have just flopped right off. Everything was good, I'm just saying. Got to be careful in the turnings. I was waiting to see a crappie too. I was like, ah, this ain't no bass. Not many of them are, so you need to just be, we're, we're on the hunt. All right, close as you can, Blaine. Again. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's just the wind. You gotta almost like you almost gotta aim at the tires, and then hopefully the wind is still picking up. <laughs> You're on the bottom now, so you can tighten it up. Based on all the slack I see, just get it to where you feel the weight. You don't want to like you want to pop it on the bottom. You don't want to like bring it up. Remember, and have it like a few feet up. It's best to have that stuff on the bottom. Tighten it up. I'm just gonna see exactly where your bait's at. I'm gonna try and point the motor at it. Let's see. Give it a few pops. A few aggressive pops. Mm, there you are. See, that's good. You kind of give it some action and then it yeah. falls. That's good. That's what you. That's kind of what you want to do probably with that bad boy. Oh, there's one. Ooh, there we go. Rod tip down, 45 degree angle. Not too much of an angle because then it's like 90, too much, okay? You just want a good rod bend. You want to be able to load up a little bit, so. All right, y'all ready? Or you want to, I mean, good. if you're having a good time, then we'll just keep at this because you'll probably end up getting another one doing this, but that looks good. Keep this pool open. Yep, yep, yep. We're getting dialed. All right, let's go maybe find some bass. I am like not coming out. Uh, it's it's where the braid is tied to the to the fluorocarbon line, so there's like a knot that's in the guide. So I was telling uh, Blaine what I like to do is kind of just like like go like that. Usually it'll. Well, I said usually. It's wrapped around there. That's what uh, it was. It was kind of wrapped around. Now you're good. I think it was what I said it was at first, and then it got caught on that as I messed it up. <laughs> Usually, if it's the middle of the day, it's going to be a carp or a gar. Unless it's like right along these tires or like right along lily pads. You know what I mean? Like, because they'll like ambush. But if it's just out in the middle of nowhere, probably not a bass. So now that y'all got those bottom baits dialed in, like if we find another spot where we got to drop it down because we see some targets, you know exactly what we're doing. You just leave that spool open until it hits the bottom, then just kind of work it slow and you get a bite or you don't. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. But we need more and we need some bigger ones because I bet you somebody out here has caught some big ones. All right, we're moving on from the tires. We got to find fish number three. It is 9.05 in the morning. Oh, oh, no. Make sure y'all get a couple good casts around this rock. Yeah, the jerk bait should be a sure thing. This is a decent weight though. This is one of the half ounce ones, so it shouldn't just be like hugging the surface. Hopefully it goes down just a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're back in the game. We're dialed now. Chatter bait, spinner bait, crank bait, jerk bait, Ned rig, shaky head. Now we're getting somewhere. We got options. That little point with that nice looking rock sticking up there looks good too. Now stay on it, but just start going towards your heel, right? Kind of turn a little bit in advance. Yeah, there you go. Yep, yep. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, it's on kind of high. Got to be kissed. Okay, so check this out. If the lights are like lower than half, okay, this is how you adjust it. The speed of the trolling motor. See that? So if the lights are lower than half, usually if you go like left, hold on. Usually if you go left, not that bad, right? So look, if the lights are above half, now yeah, get your stance. Now if you go left, like you might fall like you'll probably fall <laughs> like if you're not ready okay so I, I typically when i'm working the bank i keep the lights somewhere around half you'll find you'll find the perfect speed like if you're trying to get to a spot like the corner real quick then you just bump it up and haul otherwise i keep it down here and we're just cruising the bank and spot lock is this one because you didn't see that either wayne so that anchor so if you want to just stay in one spot you just pop that you can retie there's a fish coming up for you drop it drop it drop it open this pool spinner baits are funky like this check this out all you gotta do Give it a nice little pull. Oh, yeah. Because they're just kind of wrapped in a weird way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. Nice the net, one. The neck, the neck. Oh my gosh, that's risky, but you got him. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Travels in the shirt. No way. No way. <laughs> nice one. Toss them in there. That's number three, baby. Number three, baby. Close that thing. Close it quick. Close it. They'll jump out. Oh, they will? Yeah, especially when the water's that high. Good work. Keep cranking it. There's more there. There's a lot of fish under there. If there is haters, y'all are gonna get more than anybody just because you're with me, probably. Not like I'm somebody special. I'm just saying, like it's anytime you're with somebody who makes YouTube videos, they're gonna be like. Yeah. And to be fair, I mean, we have caught only three kind of smaller fish. They're in the same spots. It's just a matter of getting them to bite. Let's hit this rock. Let's switch to the cranks. Or, uh, I mean, y'all can continue doing the bottom baits as we work this, the rock just to switch it up, but it's up to you. This does not look as inspiring as that dock. <laughs> well, uh, it, it varies. We're gonna go around. 
Y'all got zero? Zero? Oh, that means the limit. Three. <laughs> got a tree bass. Three. Yeah. He's yeah. got a crappie. Yeah, he caught a huge crappie. Yeah. That ain't surprising though, right? <laughs> All right, good luck, y'all. We're on the hunt. Go ahead, y'all. Shade, shade, shade. Let that thing fall to the bottom. We're in 22 feet, so it's gonna take a second. They'll chase it down. Right, you're gonna have to work the motor for a minute, okay? Try to have this thing rigged up for you by the time we get there, but we got a few, but nothing crazy. Yeah, we got a Yeah, we're right there with you. I bet you got a bigger one. A little sized up from what we're working with. <laughs> I think they all count, but we'll come out occasionally for striper, but I haven't fished it for bass much, and uh, it's been a little tough. We ain't found a pattern, man. We found one under the docks. We found one off the rocky points. We got one off the tires. <laughs> All right, what do you want on here? A bandito bug or you want a, uh, what do you want? Worm. Worm? The plastics are in that one right by the cooler. Uh, Anything you want. Y'all want to try and hit the backside with the worms? Or either that or we're splitting. All right, Cole, get ready to hit some of this close to the shade here as you can. Two feet, nah, it's looking a little, it's looking a little crummy. Oh, there's something, is that you? Yeah, that must be you. Must have been me. I don't know, there's a fish right there, bro. There is? 10 feet in front of us. Right no. here. Real, 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 real. Real, real, real. Just, just, just don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe it'll do something funky and he'll eat it. All right, this motor's about to bottom out. Yeah, get that next one in those corners over there. We'll see if there's anything. A couple more casts and we're gonna get out of this little spot. There's definitely some fish here. That's not gonna be as good as this. When you're in a situation like this and you know you're gonna need to like turn around and everything and like the motor's down, you could like, you know, hit the top on rocks. So this is the, to trim the motor up, to raise it or lower it. So, motor. So I'm gonna get it out of the water while we're back here, so it's a little safer. So if I ever like tell y'all in the future, like, hey, the motor, and we're in a sticky situation, that's, that's good to do. Man, I had expectations though after that last one. It's a little too shallow, or in like zero feet. Chatterbait's gonna be good in the shallows. Like, I wouldn't estimate there's gonna be fish here, but if they're like swimming dock to dock, you know, kind of like moving from dock to. All good. You good? Okay. Huh? Unless it starts sinking. See how it's light and then it gets dark? That's gonna be a good area to hit. So like right as it goes out and gets a little deep off the end, that's where you'll find the fish like roaming and kind of like chasing the bait up shallow. 17 minutes. Yeah, I'll get this that way. Y'all can focus on just casting off the side and grabbing these babies. Yeah. Uh, we got a few, but nothing like nothing big. Y'all almost done, right? Y'all in the tournament? Yeah. Awesome. What is this? Uh, here, hold on to that. You might have to open it up. We'll, we'll go save it. All right, we got to back off of here. We're in too many rocks, y'all. Get that off there, would you? Pull it. Just pull it. Pull it hard. We got to get that motor back in there and get off these rocks. You got it. Here, let me just go ahead and use it. Get us away from here. All right, that wasn't that bad. All right, we're done. Good stuff, y'all. Holy smokes. Seems like we didn't do that bad. Right. But you gotta take what you can get because I'm telling you, some of these, it's gonna be tough to catch them. To the way in. That'll be fun. Hey, Cole, will you uh, stand up on the front and just let me know if there's like any like big boulders that I'm gonna hit? Otherwise, I'm just gonna go for it. You Sir? Like a big uh, Instagram channel? Uh, I've got a page on Instagram, yeah. Yeah, I think I follow you on Instagram. Maybe Weston is my name. Weston. Do you yeah. Like post a lot of videos and stuff? Uh, not as much as I should. <laughs> I try though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your name, man? Brennan. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Did y'all do well? We did pretty well. That's good. Nah, I mean, we did fair. We got three fish, but uh, <laughs> they weren't uh, megas either, so. They're three dinks. Yeah, we, we probably uh, made the size requirement with them, but I think one of them might be two pounds or something. So that's that's about right. how it went. Well, I'm gonna go in with my buddy. Yeah, do your thing. Nice to meet you, man. Might put a little bit more in here. Got him. Right, here you go. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Is that the big one? Uh, that ain't the big one. <laughs> we looking all right. <laughs> The real competition just started. All right, don't let him flop out the boat or you guys lose. You got you get that lip, get that lip. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There we go. There's that. Those ain't that bad. Y'all looking pretty good. All right, let's roll up there and see what we got. Your weight's 209. You're not going to take the lead, but we appreciate everything you do out there. Thank you for taking these kids fishing. Marquise and Wyatt from North Texas. 289. 289. Parker and Tanner from Valley View. Boat number 176. Bringing in 
two fish. They've got 664, and we're gonna weigh one for Big Bass real quick. Boat number 53 from Boyd, Drake, and Hunter. They've got two fish today. Weight's gonna be 332, 332. 967, 967. He's gonna slide you on to second place off the top of my head, guys. Yeah, good job. Aubrey's gonna be up next, Blaine and Cole. Boat number 157, and they've got three fish today. 556, 556. We're having a Collinsburg team up next place. Forwards. Good. Okay, good to go. Y'all were, were towards the middle of the end. Really? So uh, I would say yeah. top top 25 usually. No Mark said way. top 10. No Maybe. way. Nah, no, 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 no. Come on, man. There was some more people. I heard like the new leader came in after y'all oh, yeah, like, and like a nine, nine. or something. Yeah, 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 but uh, we I'd crushed it. I would say top 20, 25. Which is crazy, because you know, when you're out there and you're nice like, oh my gosh. You know, we, we're doing all right, but I wonder what everyone else is doing. <laughs> all right, y'all, let me show you what I do right here real quick, like two things. There's only like two things. So I take the screens off, I put those covers on them. They're like dust covers that go over the electrical connections, okay? And then we come back here, because I already strapped the front. Crank down, same here. Crank it down. If these are like crooked like that, then it's gonna get all caught, right? So I kind of keep it as straight as possible. So you take the plug out, that way like the live well water can drain and stuff like that as well as like the cooler water when I take out the plug to the cooler and the ice melts and then like if it takes on any water like we had a little bit of water come in here it all goes in there and that helps keep it from like uh, contaminating the other lakes that you go to right so it gets all clean and dry and then the last thing uh, I'm gonna bring it over real quick y'all gotta check this out so that the motor doesn't like sway around right whenever you're driving and stuff this is like a motor support system when we bought it it had like a a dinky like bar and it ended up breaking so these go on your come on over here this one's not going to go on because basically this is turned, right? So we slap that on there, cool. It's going to go on after I like straighten this up a little bit. Uh, there you go. Try and slap it on there. Good? Dope. So that keeps the motor from turning, right? Because otherwise it'll turn while you're driving. These are pointing down. If they're pointing up, then it doesn't want to work. So we might have y'all test this out next time. So you toss that in these holes right here. And then you come on over to this side. So there's like two slots for these rubber grommets so it's going to sit in here and lock in real nice and just like there's the trim up there that button there's the trim on the motor okay so i'm gonna trim it down until it until it locks in now she's locked and ready for the road okay so that trim's powerful so it just stays there it won't turn um she's strapped in the front and the back plugs out screens off which some people leave their screens on but these mounts are not like yeah this is not like i got the ball and set up so like these mounts i don't trust them hey y'all have a good one good work today all right, y'all, that's going to close us out. I hope you enjoyed this one. So Blaine and uh, Cole won, what did they get? 25th place, you guys, out of 243 boats, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of boats out there. I think we were in direct competition with everyone. Might have been a couple different divisions. Uh, y'all are going to have to let me know, everyone who's kind of uh, partaking in this tournament right here. So Blaine and Cole each received gift cards to Academy. Uh, first place was one with 11.43 pounds ladies and gentlemen that was highland park aubrey where blaine and cole are with they actually took second place as far as overall teams in the standings so that was phenomenal and uh, we look forward to these next few episodes with you guys so stick around for some more tournament footage on the hot tamale we're taking them out and we're going to fish lake lewisville next we'll see y'all then peace